Hello everyone, this video is a brief discussion about hemostasis. Hemostasis is a combination of two terms, hemo, which means blood, and stasis, meaning standing still. In this context, this term refers to how the body can stop bleeding when there is injury. This explanation is also the Greek translation of hemostasis. Hemostasis is a complex physiological process where it keeps the circulating blood in a fluid or liquid state. And when there is injury, it produces a clot so that it can stop the bleeding. It also confines this clot in the site of injury. After that, it will dissolve this clot when the wound starts to heal. When there is an imbalance in the hemostasis system, there could either be hemorrhage or thrombosis. Hemorrhage refers to bleeding, while thrombosis refers to clotting. Hemostasis is the body's natural reaction when there is injury. It functions to stop the bleeding and to prevent any blood loss. This reaction also helps the body repair any damages done in the injury. And lastly, hemostasis also prevents the occurrence of thrombosis inside the blood vessels. There are three components in hemostasis. We have the vascular, intravascular, and extravascular components. The vascular components refers to the blood vessels through which the blood flows, and these are the arteries, the veins, and capillaries. Intravascular components refers to those that circulate within the blood vessels, and these are the platelets and a few plasma proteins. These plasma proteins can be divided into the coagulation factors, the fibrinolytic proteins, and their inhibitors. The extravascular components refers to the tissues that are surrounding the blood vessels. These provide the back pressure on the injured blood vessel through swelling and trapping blood that is escaping. Let's now discuss the different mechanisms involved in hemostasis. These mechanisms are also sometimes called as the different steps or the different phases in the process of hemostasis. The first one is the primary hemostasis and the second one is secondary hemostasis. As their name implies, primary hemostasis refers to the first step so that bleeding can be stopped, while secondary hemostasis involves the production of the secondary hemostatic plug. Let's now talk a little bit more about the two hemostatic mechanisms. In primary hemostasis, there are two components that are involved. First is the vascular component and the intravascular component, specifically the platelets. The blood vessels function in primary hemostasis is vasoconstriction. The constriction of the blood vessels would seal the wound and would also reduce the blood flow. Vasoconstriction would also serve to enhance the chemicals that are secreted by the platelets. The platelets, on the other hand, are activated during the primary hemostasis. The very important roles in platelets would be to adhere to the injured blood vessel. The second one is to aggregate with each other at the site of injury. And the third one is to promote coagulation and release biochemicals that are important in hemostasis so that a platelet plug can be formed. A platelet plug is also known as a hemostatic plug or a platelet thrombus. A platelet plug is defined as aggregates of platelets that have formed at the site of injury during the first phase of hemostasis. This platelet plug serves as a temporary seal for the injury. Therefore, primary hemostasis has the ending of a platelet clotting. The next step after primary hemostasis is secondary hemostasis. This step is also sometimes called as 
coagulation because of the involvement of different molecules called the coagulation factor. These coagulation factors are activated in sequence called the coagulation cascade. This amplifies the clotting effect of the platelet plug through the formation of fibrin. Fibrin is an insoluble glycoprotein which is much more stable than the platelet plug because it is securely attached to the blood vessel wall. Secondary hemostasis is therefore involved in the formation of a solid and stable clot. The last phase or the last step in hemostasis is fibrinolysis where the temporary fibrin clots are dissolved in the blood vessels as it heals in order to restore normal blood flow. Tests used to diagnose hemostasis can be divided into two categories, the primary hemostasis and the secondary hemostasis tests. Under the primary hemostasis tests would be the following. We have bleeding time, or BT, capillary fragility test, clot retraction test, platelet count, and platelet function tests. These different tests would see if there is a defect in the blood vessels or the platelets. The secondary hemostasis tests would be the prothrombin time, activated partial thromboplastin time, thrombin time, and the different coagulation mixing studies. These tests would diagnose any problems involving the coagulation factors. And that would be all for our introduction to hemostasis. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back at the laboratory.